Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the ruffles and to cover the cake. I have got, oh, this is my cake at the moment. Uh, I've put it on a cake board and it's also on a turntable. Uh, as you can see, the, the white cake has been covered in fondant and I've done a really bad job, um, basically because it's been covered in ruffles anyway, so I haven't wasted my time getting a really smooth ganache or a really smooth fondant finish. Just, you know, whatever you do to save a bit of time. I've got all my different shades of fondant. Um, I grabbed them all, basically started with my darker shade, then grabbed a ball of white and then made four white balls in between and then basically grabbed little bits of the darkest shade to mix, you know, to make my light lighter and lighter shades. Um, okay, to make the actual ruffles, I have this frill cutter. This one here, I'm going to use this top end. I am going to use the end of a paintbrush to frill it. This is a really small paintbrush. Um, you could use a matchstick, uh, a toothpick, I guess, if you would like. Um, I've got some water. And that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna roll out my fondant. You want it quite thin, so it's easy to frill out. So, cut it out, and then um, sort of. I'll show you what it looks like. Oops. So I'm just basically going to cut the sides off. Yep, so I've got my strip. I will trim the other side once I've done the frills. Sorry, excuse that background noise. Okay, and I'm just going to go like that and like that. Just sort of pick it up a little bit that you can do it from switch the side you do it at you can see when it when you've rolled it too thickly it's a lot harder to frill obviously my I haven't rolled this out evenly one side's a bit more than the other but look it won't really matter you can have that many ruffles on um, no one's gonna notice by the time everyone eats this, they will have had a few drinks, so they won't notice. It'll look amazing. With beer goggles on, hopefully without. Okay. Right, so that's done. Here's my cake. You can see, look how awful the edges are. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Get my, um... Just... around I might just trim doesn't matter too much about trimming off the top because you're sticking layers over the top anyway and this is the bottom one so Okay, so I'm sticking that on. I'm going to sort of lift these up a little bit. Just to sort of make it frill out a bit more rather than sticking down. Sort of use your fingers to do this. It's a lot easier once you've sort of done the first layer. Okay. Okay, I'll do a few more and then show. Okay, I just want to show you um, adding extra ruffles to the cake. I'm just um, onto my third colour. Can't really tell too well with the light. Okay, I'm going to stick. Right, once you stick it on, get your paintbrush very gently. Uh, also do the ones underneath. You just want to sort of kick them up a little bit. And then they sort of just dry or ruffled. So get the ones underneath as well. There we go. 
die. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I was going to put a bow and a ribbon around the center of the middle tier, but I just thought it was too busy in the end. Um, the top cake, that idea is from Bakerella, uh, which I thought was so cute. And it's so easy because you just um, use a heart cutter and punch out a whole heap of hearts and then stick them on. You know, a little bit time consuming, but I think it looks so cute. And here are the ruffles, ombre, woohoo. And then that middle tier, I've just uh, used my first impressions mold and done a pearl edge border. All done, yay.